Babies with two parents? That is so old fashioned. I think it's about time that they could have three. Hey folks, Lacey Green here with the D News Update. Friends, I think it's time we had a chat. When a man loves a woman and a woman loves a man, they sometimes want to have a family. So they do the sexy and create their offspring from their genetic material. But what if another woman was in the mix? And no, I'm not talking about some freaky threesome, but her genetic material. What if a baby had not two parents, but three? Scientists in the UK are trying to make it happen. This week they declared that the technology which would make babies from three parents is safe and that if legalized, it would be very useful. Why on earth would you need three parents? Parents? It's all about that mitochondria, baby. You may remember from bio that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, but it also makes an itty bitty teensy tiny contribution to the genetic outcomes of a baby. About one in every 6,500 babies born is affected by their mother's damaged mitochondria. It's responsible for about 50 genetic diseases, and most of those babies who are affected will die during infancy. The most common ones are heart problems, severe mental impairment, and muscular dystrophy. Mitochondrial defects can also cause a woman to have a miscarriage and be unable to carry the fetus to term, Q-pronuclear transfer and maternal spindle transfer, or MST. Using these procedures, scientists can replace the damaged mitochondria with healthy ones from an egg donated by another woman. It's very similar to in vitro fertilization, just a slightly different procedure for people with slightly different needs. And it just so happens to involve a third person's mitochondria instead of a third person's donor egg. The scientists asking the UK government to approve the procedure say that all of the controversies about it were already addressed in the 70s when in vitro fertilization hit the scene. For one, it doesn't appear to be unsafe. Researchers have conducted a number of studies, and while they haven't been able to test it on humans yet, it appears to be completely safe. Of course, they won't know for sure until they have the government approval to try it out on human volunteers. Further, just like in vitro, it's not cloning people, and it's not eugenics. Quite a lot of the backlash, and my own reaction when I heard about it actually, is concerned that this will enable the concoction of designer babies with hand-selected genetics. But it turns out that's not what it is. The great fertility victory here is allowing two people to have a child that's biologically theirs instead of half the genetics coming from someone else. It does eliminate some of the diseases that can kill a baby or cause the mother to miscarry, but the mitochondrial contribution is only 0.2%. In other words, the baby's almost 100% their genetic offspring. I think it's the almost part that gets people. So what do you guys think? Too freaky or a great innovation? Should we legalize it? Let me know down below and thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.